Hello guys, once again welcome back to my channel Mariner Shian. So guys, if you are new to this channel guys, press the subscribe button and press on the bell icon for future notification. So guys, the topic for today is Hello everyone, before starting this video, I would like to ask you one thing. What is your main engine low oil pump? Is it centrifugal pump or is it positive displacement pump that is screw pump so guys comment down below in the comment section what is your main engine low oil pump and yeah guys if you have not watched my previous video regarding centrifugal pump basics pump characteristic curve and the requirement of priming why priming is required in a centrifugal pump you can go to my description or in my video section and check out so guys this is your centrifugal pump QH curve and this is your positive displacement pump QH curve and if you use screw pump for main engine low boil duties then what will happen let's analyze consider a situation in which your main engine low boil is cold and your main engine is in standby condition and you just started your main engine and your engine is just warming up and you are in the port and you are about to sail in a couple of hours maybe so what will you do you will just start your lube oil pump and you will let lubricate your all parts that is your piston bearings etc all parts so when you do that your system characteristic curve for the cold oil and the flow rate will be how much let's analyze the x axis for the centrifugal pump as well as your positive displacement pump so in this case we will be using screw pump maybe so it differs from ship to ship some guys use centrifugal pump and few of them may be using positive displacement pump so let's analyze what will be the end result if you use centrifugal pump and what will be the end result if you use positive displacement pump so analyzing the x-axis that is the flow rate or quantity of lube oil going into our main engine for lubricating the various parts such as main engine bearing piston etc so we will be considering the first situation in which the lube oil is cold in nature that is system characteristic for cold oil so the flow rate for the centrifugal pump will be here you can see it very clearly in the x-axis and for the Positive displacement pump the flow rate will be in the same point so you can see it very clearly so basically it is for comparison purpose in which the flow rate for positive displacement pump as well as centrifugal pump will be the same in the x-axis you can see it very clearly and you can see it very clearly in the y-axis the total head that is the pressure head will be the same for positive displacement pump as well as our centrifugal pump so you can see the y axis in which the pressure head will be the same for both cases so basically this is for just comparison purpose in which our lube oil will be cold in nature and we are comparing the pressure head as well as flow rate so both are same and there is no difference in this and now considering the situation in which our ship is out of port our main engine is completely warmed up so obviously our lube oil will be going to different parts such as main engine bearing piston etc so our lube oil will be absorbing all the heat from various parts and our lube oil will be now hotter in nature so now we will be considering the system characteristic curve for hot oil so we will be comparing the flow rate and pressure head for centrifugal pump as well as positive displacement pump so now let's analyze the x axis there is a flow rate for centrifugal pump when the lube oil is hot in nature so you can see the increment of flow rate from this place to this place so obviously our flow rate have increased as the low oil is transformed from cold oil to hot oil so you can see the increment in flow rate and now let's analyze the increment in flow rate for post displacement pump so you can see the increment here it is very less so obviously our centrifugal pump have the upper hand in which the flow rate for lube oil pump to various parts of the main engine such as main bearing piston it is very high the flow rate is very high 
and the cooling efficiency will also be very high obviously so as the low boil become much more hot in nature the friction resistance will be less as the friction resistance is less obviously our viscosity is less that that means that is the friction resistance between layers of fluid will be very less so our flow rate will be increased for centrifugal pump the centrifugal pump flow rate will be high then as compared to our post displacement pump flow rate you can see the increment here in post displacement pump the increment is very less while in our centrifugal pump the increment is huge as compared to positive displacement pump so now let's analyze the pressure head for centrifugal pump as well as positive displacement pump and you can see as the oil become much more hotter in nature the pressure keeps on dropping for centrifugal pump you can see in the graph very clearly and the drop will be this much centrifugal pump resultant resultant pressure drop and now analyzing the pressure drop for positive displacement pump the drop will be immense as compared to centrifugal pump the drop will be double time just for comparison purpose so you can see the how pressure have been dropped so here also our centrifugal pump have the upper hand in terms of pressure drop as the low boil become much more hotter in nature the pressure drop in the centrifugal pump will be less as compared to our positive displacement pump pressure head so obviously here also our centrifugal pump have the upper hand so you can now understand why centrifugal pump is more considered as a low boil pump than compared to our positive displacement pump and the next big advantage is that our centrifugal pump that is our low boil pump will be always in the main engine inside the main engine low boil sump so our pump will be at the bottom and our low boil will be always be giving a positive suction head to the pump so that is also a big advantage and we need to maintain just minimum low boil in, inside the sump as the low boil will be giving a positive pressure head to the centrifugal pump that is also a big advantage and now you can understand why centrifugal pump is more considered than positive dis displacement pump as it is more efficient it is having more flow rate to the main engine for lubricating various parts and obviously the pressure drop in the centrifugal pump will be very less as compared to positive displacement pump so guys that's what i wanted to convey in this video i hope this video was informative for you guys guys if you have any comment or any question you can comment down in the comment section we will be having interaction as well so guys subscribe my channel and press on the bell icon for future notification guys see you all once again